Okay, everybody, we're here with senior receiver and returner, Nico Ramigio. If you have questions for Nico, go ahead and let me know in the chat and we'll get rolling. We'll go ahead and get started with Jeff Ferrato from Cal Sports Report. Go ahead, Jeff. Nico, how you doing? I'm doing well, how about yourself? I'm all right. So can you, first of all, just give us an update on how you're feeling because you've been uh popped around a little bit the last couple of games. Yeah, um, now I'm feeling good. Um, you know, it's kind of just part of the game that we play. Um, you know, I get those little nicks and bruises and, um, you know, nothing that I haven't dealt with before. So I'm good. All right, very good. I, I was asking Elijah uh, uh, how much benefit you guys have given where you're at right now in your season and having a rough time so far. The fact that you beat Oregon last year, does that come into play at all in terms of, does the team need that confidence or not? Or and I know you had a good game. You scored the winning touchdown in that game. What do you take from that from that game? Yeah, I mean, I guess what whatever helps boost everybody's confidence. But I think it's um, you know referring to games that we've played in the past. Um, I, I don't think it has too much of an effect on how we approach the game this year and our overall outlook on you know Oregon as a as a program currently. So. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we're a different team. They're a different team. Um, and it's a new year with new opportunities. So um, I wouldn't say it's something that we're relying on too heavily to, you know, reflect on the past and use that as any sort of motivation to, you know, build confidence to beat them this year. Um, you know, ultimately, it's just going to come down to our preparation and, um, you know, overall how we execute. That's what's going to give us the confidence and how we prepare and practice. How did the past week and a half go with, with the bye week and in terms of, you probably just spent most of your time getting healthy, but in terms of uh, ironing out those kinks and, and uh, developing some momentum maybe for this trip to Eugene. Yeah, I think it, it's, it was good for us just to hit a hard reset and kind of, you know, regroup, um, regather the team, um, kind of just spending some time with each other, um, you know, allowing guys to heal up a bit, like you said, and, um, you know, ultimately, just being able to regroup and reestablish ourselves, and, um, you know, kind of just reset our mentality and reset uh, everything to prepare to finish the rest of the season. So, um, you know, I think it was a good uh, bye week for us and it was uh, healthy for our team. Have you guys been able to flush any sort of negativity out? I mean, sure, this is not the way you wanted the season to start, but what's your mindset that you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think really the whole week was an opportunity for each and every one of us, you know, not only collectively as a team, but individually just kind of flush, um, you know, the mishaps that we've had and um, really look into the finer details of where we messed up and um, kind of correct those things that we had, we had uh, not executed super well um, during the bye week and then kind of regrouping and prepping for Oregon this week. So, um, you know, I think it was, it was good for us. Thanks, Nico. Thank you. Okay, go to Trace Travers with Rivals. Go ahead, Trace. Yeah, Nico, you guys have faced uh, Coach DeRuiter's defense in the past, being that he was at Cal uh, the past four years before he went up to Oregon. Uh, what do you see? What have you seen on film from what they've done so far this year? Yeah, I mean, very similar defense to what we play. Um, you know, nothing that we haven't seen in the past. They do a pretty good job um, mixing up man and zone. So um, nothing that we haven't seen before. Um, at the end of the day, I think, uh, we're our biggest enemy when it comes to that. You know, if we're able to execute the way we do um, efficiently in practice and, you know, efficiently, like when we have shown those flashes in the games, you know, I think, you know, regardless of who's out there, I think we'd be successful. So. Yeah. And on that front, uh, Coach, Coach Toller's talked a lot about the little things with you guys. What little things has he stressed during the bye weekend leading into this week? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just been, you know, adjustments that we've made route wise, um, you know, different plays that we've plays, personnel groupings, um, route details, you know, just things of that nature have kind of been the little details that we've been working on. And then, um, you know, it constantly you're working on on developing and constantly building chemistry with the quarterback. So that's something that Coach Scholler has been emphasizing a lot, um, you know, the whole year, but especially this week is just constantly trying to um, build on the chemistry and relationships that we have with Chase and um, the other quarterbacks in the room. Cool. Thank you, Nico. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'll go back to Jeff Ferrato. Go ahead, Jeff. N Nico, um, Oregon's not a big sacks team, but but they have turned the ball over on, on opposing offenses a lot. I think they have 15 takeaways. Um, and, you, and you guys are coming off a game where Chase was pressured real heavily by Washington State. What do you guys need to do to relieve that pressure and be able to get back to the way your offense was functioning there for the previous uh, two or three weeks? Yeah, um, you know, I think that'd be a better question for one of the linemen. You know, I'm not super familiar with what they're doing from a front standpoint, but, um, you know, at least from a receiver standpoint, it's just making sure that we're blocking on the perimeter really well, um, making sure that we're getting the right guys when we do block down in the box. Um, so little details like that has kind of just been the focus for us as receivers. Are there some certain kinds of plays or sets that you can use that that will relieve some of that pressure and, and make them pay for it? Um, I wouldn't say any specifically, but I'd say, um, you know, just getting the ball in the air and, and scoring touchdowns and making them have to respect that would would help. All right, thanks. Thank you. Then we'll go to David Bush from Bear Insider. Go ahead, David. Hi, Nico. Um, you mentioned uh, the chemistry with the Chase. How how do you feel he's he's performing? Is he having a, a good year? Is uh, is could he get better? Uh, what's your take on that? Yeah, well, I mean, I, first of all, first and foremost, I think Chase has played really well um, this year. But, you know, it's kind of I said it last time I had an interview with you guys, but it's kind of you're never satisfied in this. Point. You're always trying to get better. You're always trying to develop and continue to progress as a player. So, um, you know, I think for anybody to think that they're satisfied and feel really good with their performance would wouldn't be the most honest answer. So um, I think at the end of the day, each and every one of us, including Chase, um, are constantly trying to improve in our game and, and progress as football players. But uh, do you, you guys still have confidence in uh, in him? And how 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 is his demeanor over over the struggles you guys have had? Yeah, absolutely. Chase has been a uh, you know just an outstanding leader throughout all this. Um, you know, in times of adversity, um, you know, it's really an opportunity for the leaders on the team to to step up and really ha they have to be present in times like this. And I think, you know, Chase has done nothing but be an uh, outstanding leader for, you know, not only the offense, but the whole team. So um, much kudos to him and have much respect for him and, and excited for how he, how he's going to play for the rest of the season. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, guys, anybody else with a final question for Nico? Give you another five seconds here in the chat. 